just dropped my phone so I hope you didn't get a shot of my knees um, but welcome to today's live Facebook live where I am going to play with I'm just trying to find the stamp box uh, circle celebration so last night on my team meeting we do a little crafty challenge every Sunday evening and last night was a color challenge and the colors that we were using were so saffron highland heather and pear pizzazz and this was the card that I came up with um, so it was the first time that I'd cracked open <laughs> cracked open um, well first time I'd opened circle celebration and also the first time I'd used um, these word wishes Think they're called, they're called, yep, word wishes dies. So, I um, we've been out for a little picnic yesterday, and I was kind of inspired by the crocuses, the daffodils, etc., all the spring colors. So, I thought that made a lovely Easter card, and I thought I would use it again today for our Facebook Live. So, I'm going to point you down and show you um, a different card. So, let's do that first. So here is the stamp set. Um, you can make any number of cards with this because it's pretty generic. You can make great patterns. Um, it makes a lovely background. Of course, you can do a little bit more with it than just a background, but I just wanted to show you a really, really simple card today using these stamps as um, just making your own kind of background DSP, if you like. So I'm kind of using variety of them just little ones here and there but I thought because it's so generic you can make any card you want hi Nick um depending on the kind of occasion that you are looking for so obviously these yellows and purples I made for Easter but as we are just on the first day of March so it's St David's Day for anyone um anyone in Wales or of Welsh descent and you may or may not be able to tell from my accent but I'm of Irish descent um, so I originally come from Northern Ireland, even though I'm living over here in England, um, but I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day card. So I'm going to use various greens that we have. Um, so I thought I would use some shaded spruce, some just jade and just as a little lighter colour, um, some soft sea foam. So I'm going to use the same. Hey, Sarah, how are you? I'm um, going to use the same, pretty much the same type of card, just background stamping using those three colours. So let's get started. I'm going to have a small background, um, background piece rather, a small background piece, a small piece of basic white. Um, though this might actually be still some of my old whisper white. Um, I'm just going to put, because the stamp set is photopolymer, I'm just going to put a little piercing mat underneath. And let's get my, let's do the Just Jade stamp first, because that's probably going to be my bigger one. So I'm going to take this stamp first. Um, and just do a few of these. And then I'm going to go back with this teeny tiny stamp and I'll use the darker um, shaded spruce for this one just to get it central. Oops. You'd think with it being photopolymer, it'd be easy to get it central. So this is a, it's a similar shade, but just much darker. With the just jade. And then maybe the little kind of pinwheel type one I'll use again. Let's see, actually, I'll, before I do that, I might use my soft sea foam. And I'll do... This kind of, I'm not sure what you would describe that one as, dotted circle. I 
and then I'll cut out the little pinwheel one and I'll do that in the shaded spruce, the darker one as well. I just overlap this circle here. I'm conscious that I've <laughs> I've only just painted my nails. <laughs> and I know that they're gonna eventually um I had to wait for them to dry <laughs> before I could come live. And I know they're gonna end up having red on the paper, on the cardstock at some point. Um Right, so I might then go back in again. There's another little uh, dotty kind of non-circle stamp um, and I'll just fill in the gaps. With that. And yeah, that'll do. Less is more, less is more. Don't need to fill everything. White space is good as well. It's very tempting to just keep going. So I'll just close my ink pads because I have a habit of sticking my fingers in them. So I hope you all had a great celebration, took advantage of all those offers that were on and got all the free products that you um, that you wanted. Um, if you did miss out on them, they are going to be some of my spot prizes on my bingo night. My bingo night is the Friday the 9th of April. And oh, that's a bit too small, did I? Must have made this the wrong measurement. Um, Friday the 9th of April, um, we play five games with five prizes. And then, oh yeah, this is one, three, three. Um, five games with five prizes and there are prizes from the spring summer catalog. So we have some great bundles as the prizes. And then we have just some random spot prizes along the way. And they will be some of the celebration products. So if you missed out on your favorite, you will have the chance to win it on my um, bingo night. So the details for that, I will put on this um, video once I've finished, I'll post the link to that, or you can find it on my Facebook page anyway. But it's going to be a great night. So far there are 25, I think, 25, 26 um, signed up for it. So we have brilliant prizes. And it's great fun. It's on Zoom. And you can find all the details, as I say, on my um, page. So on this page, you will find all those details. Right. So I'm just going to mount that on the shaded spruce. And I'm just going to make that just marginally bigger. So there's just a hint of a border. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down. Just using some of the, um, see, as well, that's the back and not the front. I've got the nail varnish on it. My nails were in such a state, I couldn't have um, let them go without nail varnish. It's been so cold and they've just cracked and they're not looking, they're not camera ready. Just trying to get that even border all around, so like so. And then I'm going to take a piece of, we have this crinkled um, white ribbon. I'm just going to wrap that around and tie I'm not sure yet where I'll put my bow left, right, but I can swivel it around when I decide where my sentiment is going. So I'll try not to get my nail varnish on the uh, cardstock. There we go. Now I'm going to um, flat. Take my word wishes die and I have a happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to cut that out in Whisper White. Let me just get this scrap. Oh, little scrap card. And I'm going to use also our adhesive sheets. Um, it would make it easier than trying to get this dotted with glue on the back. So I'm just going to stick 
this piece of card to the adhesive sheets if I can get them apart. Hopefully, she says, with the really bad nails. Come on. There we go. So, stick. Hard down again, try not to get the nail varnish <laughs> and just oh, I'm off camera. Sorry, just trying to uh, cut that off. Then I'm going to do my happy St. Patrick's Day and I'm going to run that through the big shot. So just bear with me a minute for the die cutting and boss cut machine. Still can't get out of the habit of calling it a big shot, but you know what I mean. Die cutting implement machine. Okay, so here are our words. When I first did this, I actually thought St. Patrick's itself was cut together as one word, but it's actually two separate words. So there we go, we've got our happy St. Patrick's Day. Then I'm going to take, I'm gonna use the nested labels. And I'm gonna cut out, um, hey Catherine, how are you? Hi Larissa. Um, I'm gonna cut out a label in the shaded spruce, which is this dark, color that I've highlighted in. Again, so I'm just off to my die cutter. Just to get and find a scrap that will work. That's the right size. Okay, so here is my nested label. I love these with the um, stitching on it. So I'm going to put my words on that, but I'm going to chop off just the edge of that. Um, so I have a nice clean edge. Because I'm not going to put it in the middle, I'm going to put it off to the side because I don't want to hide this background. Okay, so let's go with the happy first. Trying to get this out again so I don't get any red on it. And then you can peel off, she says, the backing. Just make sure I get the little bits out of my letters. Otherwise it won't look too happy. Okay, so there's the backing coming away here. Okay, it's probably like watching paint dry, trying to watch me get this apart. <laughs> right, so there's happy. Ooh, it's a bit fiddly and a bit sticky. Um, but I'm going to have them a little bit off the edge, just so I can fit them all in. Probably have gone for a bigger um, nested label, but then you wouldn't see. I love the background and I don't want to cover too much of it. So we've got this scent. Just trying to get the backing off. Great thing about these adhesive sheets is you don't have to um, sit dotting lots of bits of glue onto the back of the letters, which is of course altogether feasible, but it's just way quicker and easier um, to do it like this. So we've got the um, St. Patrick's. Just, oh, and I've lost the apostrophe. It's just flicked off. <gasps> okay, shame. I will have 
Not very good grammar on my card then. see if I can I did have a a rough attempt I didn't fully make the card but I had a rough attempt um before I came on so maybe I can just see hey Kirsty I can just see if uh, I can prize the apostrophe off my sort of sample uh, okay so happy Oh, it's not very straight. Let me see if I can get. I've just managed to. I'm not sure if you were watching. Hey, Faye. I'm not sure if you caught that, Kirsty. I know you won't have seen it, Faye, but I managed to, um, as I was taking this die cut off, I managed to lose the apostrophe. It pinged right off, it flicked up and flicked away over in the corner of my desk. And I don't think I'm going to find it. So I'm just using, here's one I made earlier. Because I'm not cutting it all out again just for an apostrophe. So there's my apostrophe. And I can get my little, I'll be grammatically correct here and get my, um, it's a little hard to get the backing of this. Actually, I think it has a backing of it. Let's see. There's my dot for my eye. Oops, my fingers are a bit sticky. I've got some glue on it. Right, and then the day. So these are the word wishes dies that you can find in the annual catalog. They're actually a great set. They have New Year, Valentine's, Mother's Father's, Easter. And then of course, Happy. Um, so here I'm using the Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hi Karis, how are you? I should be making a happy St. David's Day, but I'm making a happy um, St. Patrick's Day. I'm thinking ahead. It's a bit late to make a St. David's Day. I should have been doing that last week. Um, so I had time to get it to any of my Welsh friends. So, okay, so now I have my... Um, my greeting and now rather than try and tighten up my bow because of the red nail varnish what I'm going to do is a sneaky thing which is a handy thing as well I'm going to snip the back of my ribbon and I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on either side I'm going to work out I'll put this on first in fact I should have done that first I'm going to get some dimensionals and I'm going to raise, of course, raise my um, sentiment piece on the back. And then I will know exactly where, sorry, not on the back, on the front. And then I know exactly where I want my bow to lie. I don't have that. Oh, okay. I want it roughly, I think, about there. Turn it the right way round. Yep, about there. So get that in, I can adjust it in a minute. Okay, so about there. And then I can pull this tight on the other side and just so that my bow is a little tighter, but of course I have the bow upside down now, which wasn't in the plan. And it's stuck behind here. Okay, note to self, never paint your nails just before you're going to do a spot of crafting. So then I'm going to just put this straight down onto my card base. And the card base I'm using is Just Jade, which was the um, lighter colour here. There you go. Actually, I might just, if this hasn't set, just move that over right to the edge. So look, not a shamrock in sight, but all the greens, not all the greens, we have more greens, but quite a few greens. 
for a St. Patrick's Day card. Bit of a, you know what, I'm going to take a little um, glue dot to get my um, bow to behave properly. Just taking a glue dot and just putting it in there under the knot. Now he's forced to, <laughs> my bow is forced to lie where I tell him to now. Okay. So that is circle celebration, circle celebration, now that celebration is over. And that was the one I did last night with, um, with my team, just using the um, So Saffron, Pear Pizzazz and Highland Heather for a lovely fresh spring card. And then today I have used Stuart Spruce, Just Jade. Oh, that's actually not quite straight. I see it. I'll talk to that in a minute. Shade Spruce, Just Jade and Soft Sea Foam for a St. Patrick's Day card. This is a great set. Um, it's perfect for any occasion really because it is so generic and it's, it's not male, it's not female, it just works for anything. So I hope you enjoyed this morning's little circle celebration, celebration, gosh, celebration on the brain. It's over, it's over, not till July. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's project. Um, it's a great set to make fun backgrounds and you can make baby cards, you can make anything. Just change up the colours to suit. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. Thank you. And I will see you again next Friday. Friday. Don't forget the links for the bingo um, evening will be on this post and you're very welcome to join us if you're in the UK. All right, take care and have a great, um, great rest of the week everyone. Bye now.